Hey everyone, it's Kenji. Uh, I'm gonna quickly show you how I'm poaching some eggs. I'm making uh, lunch for my kids. I, I just uh, reheated some of this gyudon I had, so beef rice bowls. Um, I'm gonna add a couple of poached eggs to it to uh, sort of bulk it up. Now, the way I do this, here's my trick for poaching eggs. You know, the, the difficult part of poaching eggs is that, you know, egg, eggs have, well, they obviously have a white and a yolk, but if you look carefully, the whites are actually kind of in their own little sort of sack, you know? Um, the yolks are obviously in their own sack, but the whites also are, and so there's some amount of the white that's within that sack, um, <clears throat> and then there's some amount of the egg white which is kind of loose and kind of just floats around uh, inside the shell, and so the idea is that you want to separate that loose white from the, um, from the more firm white. And so to do that, I take a fine mesh strainer, and I just pour the eggs right into it. And what you'll see is the loose whites will drip through, but the, uh, the, the more sort of enclosed whites, the parts that are really more nicely shaped, will stay inside that strainer, almost like a water balloon. All right, so once they're strained out, put them right back into a bowl. And so now I have two eggs that are free of the loose whites. You can, of course, save that, um, the loose whites and use them for something like an egg white omelet or whatever. Um, all right, so I have a little pot of water. I'm gonna add some salt to it. You don't need to add vinegar or anything to it. Vinegar will um, make the egg whites settle a little bit faster, and so that's good if you have a lot of those loose whites. That's sort of a, a, a workaround for that. Um, but if you've separated the whites already, you don't need to add the vinegar, and I think it com comes out with better texture and better flavor if you don't uh, add vinegar to the water. So just salt in that water, and I'm gonna very gently lower these eggs in. All right, now once they're in there, I'm gonna grab a spoon. <clears throat> uh, so I've got this uh, slotted spoon here. This is actually specifically a spoon uh, for poaching eggs. This was designed by Michael Ruhlman, who is a wonderful food writer. Um, in fact, one of the people who sort of inspired me to become a food writer in the first place. Uh, and he wrote a book about eggs and he also designed this egg spoon. So this spoon, you can actually take a single egg, crack it into there, it'll strain out those liquid whites and then you can use it to lower it into your water. Um, so I'm not gonna do like a, a heavy vortex. Um, if, you, if I was doing a bunch of eggs at a time, if I really, really wanted like a sort of perfect torpedo shape, shape without any flatness on the bottom, um, like a, you know, if I was doing it inside a restaurant, I would make a vortex and then kind of put the eggs into the center of it and let their motion um, create the shape. Uh, but in this case, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna put these on top of a beef rice bowl. They're gonna get broken up. I don't really care too much if they're, uh, you know, my kids aren't paying uh, you know, $18 for these uh, poached eggs. They're getting it for free, so they'll take what they can get. But you see how nice and clean these eggs come out? I am gonna flip them once just to uh, make sure that they cook evenly and that you don't sort of end up overcooking the bottom, because obviously the bottom of the pan is gonna be hotter than the liquid at the top of the pan. So any part that's in contact with the metal is gonna cook a little bit more. So poached eggs, you generally do wanna flip them at least once in the process. All right, and that's about it. I don't know how long they've been in there. You can put them, you know, up, up to up to a few minutes if you want them like a little bit more set. I like them nice and loose, loosey goosey. I'm gonna put these onto my beef bowl here. And garnish it up with some scallions, and even though I know my kids are gonna want to break these, I'm gonna break one of them just to show you. <clears throat> just to show you how nice and perfectly poached these eggs came out. So you see how nice the shape is, right? None of that loose white at all. Really nice and easy. And then, of course, I'm going to... Let's see how the uh, inside is. Boom. Liquid, yolk, just set white exactly the way I like it. All right. Poached eggs, everyone. Real simple. Guys, gals, non-binary pals. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.